Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Craft with Barbara Drake, and today I am going to be using this Flowing Flowers stamp set. And in this stamp, which is a cling stamp, I am going to use three these three uh, images. This one here, this one, and the Happy Birthday, and probably this sending a card instead of a text. I may put that on the inside. And also I am using the embossing folder called Painted Texture. This is in the annual catalog. The Flowing Flowers is in the um, mini catalog January through June. And I'm using these dies, scalloped contours. And I'm using this largest one right here. And it actually measures, I believe, five and a quarter by four because it's going to fit on your A2 size card and it's going to go like that so that I have already embossed that and this piece here is uh, very vanilla thick and it is two and three quarters by four the inks I'm going to be using are soft succulent rich razzleberry and my right markers is soft succulent. I'm going to be using that. Also, I have a piece of ribbon, the soft succulent. This is the open weave. And the gems I'm going to be using are the Artistry Blooms, um, Rich Razzleberry. And I think that is about it for the materials. So let me go ahead and we'll get started on that. One of the first things I want to do to this piece here that I embossed, I'm going to darken the edges with Rich Razzleberry. And I'm using a sponge dauber. And I want to put a scrap piece of paper underneath. And I'm just going to do the scalloped edge. So I'm just going to cover up the inside there just a little bit. And I'm just going to go around the edges and darken them up. Now it's really going to look darker than what it actually is going to be. Because once the ink soaks up into the cardstock, it will turn lighter. So don't be shocked if you think, wow, that's, that's awful dark. It looks almost brown. It probably will look a little brown, but I just wanted it to be uh, bring out the color of the flowers because I'm going to stamp those in the rich razzleberry also. This way, I didn't want a tone on tone look. And you want to be extra careful going over these scalloped edges because, well, they're delicate for one because they've just been cut with the die cut. And if you go too rough with them, you'll, you could bend them up. And if you get a little bit there on the inside, it doesn't matter. set this off to the side and let it dry up while we can get on with the flowers and I should have told you make sure you have baby wipes or something nearby seems like when I'm working with these dark colors I have a tendency to get them the ink on my hands so now I want to take the piece that was two and three quarters by four and we are going to stamp this. And what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to try to use the rich razzleberry and just get it on this part of the flower. And then I'm going to use my right marker, the soft succulent, and I'm going to go over the leaves. Now I've seen some people use whatever color ink that they're going to use, and they do the whole thing, which is fine, you know, if that's what you, if you want to do. But it, it, this is a little difficult to try to just get it on the flower part. And as you can see, I got some there on the, on the leaf. And, uh... Let me wipe some of that off if I can. Definitely want to get this off. I had used a sponge dauber earlier and tried to do it. I didn't have very good luck with that. I think you get uh, more ink on it when you when you dab on it like this. Then I'm going to take the brush end of the right marker and then just go over these leaves right here. I did this a couple times and I had to redo it a few times because I just didn't get the look that I wanted. But what you can do is go over it, which I probably will after I stamp it with the, with the right marker. So I'm going to use my piece here. Let me put it down here. You can probably see it better on this. And I want to kind of keep it up towards the top because my sentiment is going to come down here at the bottom. I'll let it soak in that paper for a little bit. I think that's that turned out okay because if you look at the picture here the this is a what they call a distinctive stamp so it's going to have that lighter and the darker look almost to me like a 3d or what you call um, water coloring look so what I'm going to do because you can see there's some purple or the rich razzleberry in that let me get this closed up sure I get some of this off of my hands before I continue with that vanilla. I'm just going to go over these leaves and see if I can get, get them looked a little bit more green. And that looks pretty good. This one looked like I didn't get much on it. You you have to kind of work fast because once you ink, ink it up and then you move to your right marker, you know, it, it's going to start drying. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to stamp the happy birthday. Let me clean that stamp off. Happy birthday. I am going to use the soft succulent for that down towards the bottom. Make sure I don't have it upside down. Looks good. And let me get this back on here like this because now what I want to do is use the other flower. Sorry if you hear my hubby in the background. He doesn't know I'm recording and he's talking to one of the cats. Alright, so I'm just going to use partial. 
not the whole flower. I'm just going to come off to the side with it, up there a little bit. And then down here at the bottom, do the same thing. Let me turn it around and maybe get a different flower. And there we go. Now what I want to do is, I want to rough up the edges on this piece right here. And a lot of people will take their, their snips, which you can do. I just didn't want it to have a uniform look. I just kind of... And if you don't feel comfortable using your snips, you can use a nail file to kind of get the same thing. My cat loves it when my husband comes home from work. She just wants his attention and she just wants to get in the shower with him. Well, of course, after he's done. Okay, so I think I want to do rough that up just a little bit more. <laughs> I hope you can't hear him talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guess I'll find out when I go back. Okay, so I want to take that rich razzleberry again and then just go over those edges a little bit. should be ready to roll. I guess we'll go on here like this. Get some glue on there. to use the foam adhesive sheets. They come six in a pack and they they measure about they were four and four and a half four by four and a half. Raise this up. I think you save on your mini dimensionals when you use these pieces. That's why I did it. This will go on here like this. Uh oh, my husband's done. I can hear him. I may have to pause this. Let me pause the video because he's done. I don't want him talking. Okay, now that my hubby won't be talking in the background, I can continue. What I'm going to do, this is the inside of the card. Again, this is a five and a five and a quarter by four. I think I cut that right. Yeah. And down here in the bottom, I'm going to just put 
partial part of that flower. I don't need to ink the whole thing up, just a little bit. I'm just going to have it come off the bottom there, just like so. And then for the sentiment, I am going to use this sending a card instead of a text. And I'm going to use that in soft succulent. Let me get some of this ink off. And make sure I have this going in the right direction. Make sure I get it straight. I like to use this grid to help line it up. Pulled a little closer to me. Get my hair off of it. And there we go. So we got happy birthday, sending a card instead of a text. It's a little crooked. I could try it one more time. I may have it kind of crooked on the We'll see what this one looks like. Yeah, that's a little better. That's what's good about having the front and the back. Make sure I got the right color there. And that looks like it's upside down. So I need to turn it more like this. Yeah, that's better. All right, so the inside of the card is done. So get that in there. Make sure I have the right side. I will have all these products listed below that I used. In case you are interested in purchasing any of them. Again, this stamp set is in the mini catalog, which goes to the end of June. This stamp set here, Flowing Flowers. And now I just want to get, oh, I took a piece of soft succulent and made a bow. I just tied a bow. But I did not want, I did not want that color. So what I did, and it was messy, I put gloves on. I took my dauber for the rich razzleberry and I just dabbed all over it. And as you can see on the back here, there's your soft succulent color. So I'm going to attach that up there in the corner with a mini glue dot here. stuck on there, up here in the corner, just like that, and then I want a couple gems, these were the artistry blooms, Use the, take your pick tool, scoop one off, I got Something on that. There we go. And then I use a smaller one here. Pop it over there. And put that there. And there is the card. Happy birthday. Sending a card instead of a text. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me put that card together.
If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the uh, comment section. If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it very much if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you need one, I would be more than happy to be your demonstrator. Again, I will have everything listed down below that I used in the description. And I think that's it. Till next time. Thank you all very much. Bye.